Hey everyone. So here's an update on the lettuce. Um, these are doing still pretty good. Uh, they don't all have roots in the water. Three of them do. Try to get this up so you can see it. So these two have roots right there. This one actually has roots on the side. So they are getting wet. Um, the other one, I still don't see any roots down in there in the back. But we're going to let it go. Um, I'm going to go ahead and fertilize this now because I think that's what they need. They're not really growing much now. So I'm just going to set this aside somewhere where I won't hurt anything. And so this one is going to be done with MaxiGrow. It's the 10514 Maxi Grow. And on the back it says one to two teaspoons per gallon of fresh water. I have two and about two and a half gallons in here. So I'm gonna put two. Actually, I'm gonna put two full teaspoons, like overheaping teaspoons, like like that. So, I saw a couple comments um, before about the general hydroponics. There's Maxi Grow series, there's the Flora series. And I was doing some research, and then I, I contacted CB from CB's Greenhouse and Garden um, just to get a little insight on them because I know he's used them before. And with the Flora series, you really need to use all three parts. Um, unlike this one, so this one for leafy greens, you can get away with just the one part. They have the Maxi Grow and the the, the Bloom or Flower and Bloom or whatever it is. And you'd want those if you're doing tomatoes. But since we're doing greens, we can just get away with the Maxi Grow. And... Uh, like I said, I talked to CB about it, and that's what he did in his lettuce grow as well. The Flora series is a three-part, and they say you really should use all three parts if you want to have a successful grow. So that's kind of why I decided to go with this one. Um, you know, I was, I was doing the research and talking with CB, and it just seemed like this was the easiest one to do. So that's what we went with. So that's mixed in. Um, there are some like white chunks in there. I'm gonna see if you can see that. So those are floating on the bottom. Um, hopefully they will dissolve a little bit. Uh, I will come back probably later and go ahead and mix it up a little bit again. But that's what we're doing for this one. Now we'll leave that one in there show you the other lettuce I have going. So I have these ones in here and these are these are the iceberg head lettuce and these are just about ready too. We're gonna take a gander in there and see what they look like. I think they probably have some oh yeah see they got roots again. This one does. So this one's got some roots coming out of there. Hopefully you can see that. This one, oh, this one's got some nice, nice roots coming out of there. So these are pretty much ready to go in. This one's got some short roots. So while we're here, we'll plant them. So these are going to go in these this tote right next to it. I actually have this one there, which is one of these. This is a little gem. These three are little gem butterhead. I believe these were the Tom Thumb butterhead, and these are going to be. push that down in so it makes contact with the water and these are the iceberg lettuce so I'm picking the ones with the longest roots and what I'm going to do with this one I'm only going to plant the three I'm going to leave the other one, and uh, this one is going to get Master Blend. So I'm going to grow this one with the Master Blend, 
this one with the maxi grow and I'm actually probably going to go ahead since these have the roots on them um, these are probably ready for fertilization this has some so this is what's going on so I, I got the water level up to touch the cube and the roots are actually growing up a little bit so I'm assuming once they start to draw they will end up going down so I'm gonna mix this up with a uh, master blend actually right now and I'll bring you back okay so I have my two teaspoons of master blend or sorry this is a, a half teaspoon so it's two half teaspoons of master blend I'll mix that in Now I'll add in our two quarter teaspoons of calcium nitrate. So that's the proper mixing order. Um, the, the Epsom salt, sorry if I said calcium nitrate, I just, and I just added the Epsom salt. Um, two quarter teaspoons of the Epsom salt and that is supposed to be a buffer between the master blend fertilizer and the calcium nitrate which is why you're supposed to mix it in that order um, a lot of people out there I see just throw it all together do it all at one time um, I guess you can try that see if it works I guess you can get nutrient lockout if you do that um, but it's not a given that you will so I guess that's up to you whether you want to try that or not but this is the way I do it and now I'm going to add the calcium nitrate and that again will be two half teaspoons Okay, so now we'll just put our lettuce back in, flip these up. So I just want to reiterate one more time. So Master Blend and Calcium Nitrate, I use one half a teaspoon per gallon. These are two and a half gallons. I'm going a little bit light on the nutrients. But Calcium Nitrate, Master Blend, half teaspoons, two for two gallons. And Epsom Salt is one quarter teaspoon two of them one per gallon okay I hope that was clear uh, I don't want to confuse anybody um, so I guess now we will see how they all do I will be snipping these um, there will only be one head of lettuce per two inch net cup and we'll see how they do all right if you like the video please click the like button please subscribe leave me a comment and until next time get out there and grow something see you